بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم سو لیٹس کنسیڈر دس پرابلم ڈٹرمن دی ان پٹ اپنڈینس آف دی سرکٹ ان فگر ون ایٹ میگا از ایکل ٹو ٹین ریڈینس پر سیکنڈ سو دس از فگر ون ہیئر رائٹ ایٹ میگا از ایکل ٹو ٹین ریڈینس پر سیکنڈ سو دی سرکٹ وی نیڈ ٹو فرسٹ ٹرانسفارم دی سرکٹ ان ٹو دی فیزر آر فریکوینسی ڈومین سو دی ریزسٹو ایلیمنٹس دی ول ریمین دا سیم Uh, resistances are uh, insensitive to frequency omega right but uh, this these capacitors 2 millifarad and 4 millifarad capacitor and this inductor 2 henry inductor uh, they will be transformed into equivalent impedances in the phasor domain and phasor domain using this frequency so capacitors and inductors they are sensitive to frequency and they have an impedance in the phasor domain So let's uh, call this capacitor C1, this C2, and let's th call this inductor L right here. So the two millifarad capacitor in the time domain will be transformed into an impedance using this formula, one over J omega C, right? So let's call this impedance ZC1, and that is equal to one over J omega c and 1 over j is equal to uh, minus j right minus j over omega is uh, 10 and c is 2 millifarad 2 into 10 power minus 3 10 to the power minus 3 for the millifarad right so z c1 is equal to minus j divided by 2 into 10 power minus 2. 10 power minus 3 multiplied by 10 is 10 power minus 2. So 10 power minus 2 is basically in the denominator and in the numerator it will be minus j multiplied by 10 power 2 and 10 power 2 is 100 divided by 2. So zc1 is equal to minus j 15. So this 2 millifarad capacitor uh, is transformed a, uh, a minus j50 ohm uh, impedance in the phasor domain when the frequency is 10 radians per second. So this impedance is dependent upon this frequency. Uh, with the change in frequency, the impedance will change. Uh, likewise, uh, this uh, 20 ohm resistance, it will remain the same. Uh, uh, in the phasor domain and likewise C2, uh, ZC2 is given by 1 over J omega is uh, 10 and uh, C is 4 millifarad, 4 into 10 power minus 3. So ZC2 is equal to minus J, 1 over J is equal to minus J divided by this is 4 into 10 into 10 power minus 3. So that will be 10 power minus 2. So Z C2 is equal to minus J 100 divided by 4. So Z C2 is equal to 100 divided by 4 is uh, 25. So that is minus J 25 ohm. So the 4 millifarad capacitor has an impedance of minus J25 ohm in the phasor domain when the angular frequency is 10 radians per second. Likewise, this 2 Henry inductor, let's call the corresponding impedance to be ZL and the impedance of an inductor is given by J omega L and J omega is 10 and L is 2 Henry's. So ZL is equal to J20 ohms. So the impedance of the inductor is J20 ohm. So you note that uh, the impedance of a capacitor is always pre preceded by a negative sign while the impedance of an inductor is positive. Here we have minus J. Here again for ZC2 we have minus J but for inductor we have J20 ohm. So whenever you have given impedance with a negative uh, with minus J so that is the impedance of, an, of a capacitor and when we have an impedance of plus J something that is the impedance of an inductor. So this 50 ohm 
resistor it remains the same in the phasor domain so we can now transform this circuit um, we can redraw an equivalent circuit in the phasor domain so for example this uh, capacitor here this resistance here this is inductor and this we have a capacitor here so this is two millifarad capacitor uh, is minus j50 minus j50 ohm and this uh, is a 20 ohm this resistance it remains unchanged and uh, this uh, c2 four millifarad capacitor is now j25 ohm impedance and this inductance is uh, j 20 ohm impedance and this is 50 ohm right so this is the equivalent circuit in the phasor or frequency domain so we see this branch here is in parallel with this branch so let's call the impedance of this branch to be z1 and uh, this will be equal to uh, the combination of the addition of these two series impedances 50 plus j20 so let's call this z1 z1 is equal to 50 plus j20 as these are in series uh, and this is z2 and this is minus j25 ohm so the parallel combination of uh, two impedances uh, their equivalent impedance uh, let's call the equivalent impedance of this parallel combination to be Zp that will be equal to Z1 Z2 divided by Z1 plus Z2 as you would, you would remember for a parallel combination uh, for example 1 over Z1 plus 1 over Z2 is equal to 1 over Zp and for this we can derive this formula here so Zp is equal to Z1 multiplied by Z2 and uh, we have 50 plus J20 multiplied by minus J25. So minus J25 multiplied by 50 plus J20 and that is divided by their sum. So that is again minus J25 plus 50 plus j20 so z parallel is equal to minus j25 multiplied by 50 so minus j that is 25 by 5 is uh, 125 and uh, multiplied by 50 will be 1250 1250 and minus j multiplied by j so that will be minus j square so j square is equal to minus 1 so minus j square will be plus so that will be plus 25 into 2 is 50 and 25 into 20 will be 500 right so 500 minus j1250 divided by 50 and minus j25 plus j20 so that will be minus j5 so we'll be better off if we uh, transform these uh, complex numbers from their rectangular form to polar form uh, to divide them so let's use a calculator for this purpose so we are inter interested to convert to the polar form so 500 minus j1250 in the polar form will be 1346.29 and the angle is minus 68.2 degrees divided by 50 and minus j5 minus 5 right so that is 50.2 Four nine at an angle of minus five point 
seven one one degrees so we can divide the magnitudes thirteen forty six point two nine divided by fifty point two four nine and that is twenty six point seven nine two and the angle will be subtracted right so minus sixty eight point two plus five point seven one one so that is minus sixty two point four eight nine degrees ohms so that is the impedance of this uh, parallel combination so that impedance is now in series with this combination here so we can redraw uh, for convenience so that is minus j 50 ohm that is 20 ohm and that is in series with this zp here so this is the equivalence that we impedance that we are looking for this is minus uh, j 50 ohm this is uh, 20 ohm and this is our zp that we have just determined so we need to add these three impedances together so it will be better if we transform this uh, impedance here from the polar form to the rectangular form so zp expressed in um, rectangular form So this is 26.792 uh, with an angle of minus 62.489. So this is 12.376 and minus J 23.76. Ohms. So the equivalent impedance is given by uh, minus J fifty plus twenty plus Z P, which is twelve point three seven six minus J twenty three point seven six. So we add the real parts together and then the imaginary parts together. So, 20 plus 12.376, that is 32.376. And then we have uh, minus uh, uh, J50 and minus 23.76. And that is minus j 73.76 ohms so the equivalent impedance have a resistive part 32.376 ohms and a reactive part minus j 73.76 so as we see the equivalent impedance has a, uh, has a reactive imp uh, component with a negative sign which means the impedance is predominantly capacitive so the equivalent impedance is predominantly uh, has a pre has a capacitive effect right so the uh, current in this uh, circuit will leave the voltage by some angle so let's uh, transform into the polar form also so that is thirty two point three seven six and minus seventy three point seven six that is eighty point five five three at an angle of minus sixty six point three degrees ohms so the magnitude uh, the effective magnitude of the impedance is 80.553 ohms and the current leads the voltage in this impedance by 66.3 degrees.